The next leg of this journey takes us to South America, to La Amistad International Park, a friendship park located between Panama and Costa Rica. This friendship park, in keeping with its name, has fostered friendship for several years between Panama and Costa Rica. There is no border within the park. It is a shared territory. Costa Rica and Panama have never fought each other, and for good reason. There are no more armies on either side of the border a decision that was taken in a highly particular context. Latin American Republic of Panama. In December 1989, the United States invaded Panama to fight a dictator suspected of arming the communist regime of Nicaragua, General Noriega. The operation made it possible for his opponent, Guillermo Andara, to be elected. Yet no South American country would recognize Andara, except for Costa Rica. My mandate was coming to an end in May 1990, and I told President Andara, I want to recognize your government, and I want to be the first to do so because we are neighbors. But for this you must pay a price, and that price is the abolition of Panama's army, which has done nothing but harm Panama with its coup, as was the case for Haiti and countless other Latin American countries and throughout the world. Panama agreed to follow in the footsteps of Costa Rica, which had abolished its own army back in 1948, with a new constitution designed to avoid future coups. In the words of François Mitterrand, Costa Rica is the only country in the world to declare peace on the international community. Having no army has always been a calculated risk. The money that would have been used to purchase weapons was invested in education and health instead. The entire population is covered, as in wealthy countries, and we have the highest literacy rate of any developing country. La Amistad Park was born before the demilitarization in 1982 to protect 400,000 hectares of tropical forest which has an extraordinary geography. Classified as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, the park is home to rare species of birds and insects, some of which have just been discovered. The park is a unique place where we've identified several endemic species. This year alone, so far, science has discovered three new species, and we hope to be able to discover more in the future. Roger Gonzalez is a biologist. Every morning he walks the trails that have been made available for rare visitors, often researchers who come to study the nature. This red flower comes from a tree called Boro. The red flowers are highly attractive for several species, notably the birds that come to seek its nectar. Costa Rica boasts 20,000 varieties of butterflies and 400 types of birds, including these magically colorful hummingbirds. It is also home to many mammals which are mainly seen with the help of infrared cameras installed on the trees. Like this tapir or this endangered jaguar. 
whose habitat has been preserved by the park. These clearings correspond to areas that were deforested long before the forest was declared a national park. All the trees that were cut went to the lumber industry. Ever since the park has been protected, we've seen a natural regeneration. But some invasive plant species are causing problems for this regeneration. These plants cover most of the vegetation. Luckily, we can count on these insects. They feed on this plant that slows the regeneration of these clearings. It's a very beneficial biological controller. The main interest of La Amistad National Park is that it has slowed the predicted deforestation thanks to cooperation between forest rangers in Panama and Costa Rica. We select certain areas within the park, on both the Costa Rican and the Panamanian sides. And we patrol five, six, or even seven days in strategic spots where we know there are hunters, illegal crops, or clearings. These patrols have their limits. In Panama, crops continue to advance and nibble away at the forest. Sometimes to the detriment of the Indians, who have always lived there, such as the Nasso, whose life on the river is threatened by the construction of a dam that will bring electricity to the region. Uh, for the Nasso, the river is uh, many things. It's, it's everything. It's their highway, their, their, their form of transportation. They have no roads between their 12 communities. And it's their source of food. It's where they bathe, laundry, everything. And so the risk is uh, if they should lose that river from hydroelectric development, then they lose their way of life. The only hope for the Nasso and the forest is the fact that UNESCO is worried about the proximity of the dam to La Amistad Park, so much so that it has issued a warning to Panama. UNESCO has said that it, should there be any further uh, hydroelectric development in the park, according to plans that, that have been investigated, then, uh, then they will lose World Heritage status. This is what is so important about a peace park being able to put this forest and river under international surveillance, giving them an ecological value that puts the brakes on certain economic appetites. Unlike Panama, Costa Rica has banned construction and crops within the forest since the creation of the park. A decision that wasn't easy to get accepted. Relations between the two countries were tense between 1982 and 1987 because of poaching and vandalism in the protected reserve. But little by little, thanks to joint action, the situation began to change, notably due to community management programs, scientific research, and environmental education, which are now coordinated with organized groups located in the buffer zone. Panama and Costa Rica have led programs to encourage farmers living on the outskirts of the park to grow organic coffee, which fells fewer trees and requires less water. A message completely accepted by the new generations. We've worked with several producers to get them to stop using agrochemicals, or at least the healthiest ones possible, environmentally friendly ones with green labels. The water in this zone comes from a spring one and a half kilometers away, so we're working to protect that. The park has helped protect uh, critical habitat 
and uh, in more than than actually protecting the habitat itself, it's also it's also helping to create more of an awareness of the importance of uh, biosphere reserves, especially among the young people. In the Valley of Silence, we're in close contact with nature. In peaceful spots like this, it's almost like the forest belongs to us. The park doesn't belong to anyone, but we love it and protect it as if it were ours. I think there's hope because uh, there's a great pride in the ecology emerging and there's a great uh, pride in the fact that uh, Panama is, along with Costa Rica, home to a World Heritage Site uh, for, for the ecology. Although climate change and border problems may lead to wars, it's also true that natural parks can bring friendship and peace and prevent conflict between neighboring countries.